I love struck Romeo. Sing the streets of serenade. Shakespeare meets New Zealand's finest young opera talent in two special performances of Vincenzo Bellini's Romeo and Juliet. Stars of the show Madison Lenoir and Felipe Manu join us right now. It is great to have you here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. <laughs> First up, we have to address the fact not only are you Romeo and Juliet in, on, on the, in the show, you are actually, well, no, I'm not going to say Romeo and Juliet in real life, but that's, that doesn't have a good <laughs> outfit, but you are, you're a real life copy couple as well, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, how did you are, meet? Yeah. Madison, how did you meet? Uh, we met at a singing competition when we were about 17. A uh, singing competition that I actually won. <laughs> <laughs> So but I mean, I, I don't beat him yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. You know, can I just take a moment to appreciate what a beautiful couple they are, aren't they? And so talented. <laughs> like, this is insane. Okay, um, what got you started in opera? Because we seem to be punching above our weight in New Zealand with opera. So what got you started? Yeah, Felipe, you can go yeah. first. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was the school that I went to, Dilworth College in uh, Newmarket. They were offering free singing lessons there. And I thought it was a good way to get out of class yeah, with yeah. me and my friends. So I, I joined. I um, had some free, free singing lessons and then I joined the choir. And from there, sort of just natural progression so into university. But where did the opera thing come from? Like, when did you decide, when did you get sort of pointed down that road? Mm. Well, it was probably when I went to the Lexa Song Quest in 2009. So when I was a little youngster. Um, and then, which is the competition I competed in a few weeks ago. And I sort of made it my, my, a goal of mine that I wanted to join that competition. And, and you were in this as well, weren't you, the Lexus song Yeah, comp. yeah. So you competed against each other? Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. I know. <laughs> Do you get competitive? Uh, we try not to get competitive because otherwise it would be... Awful, but yeah, no, we're just really supportive, I think. So how do you work it? Do you do you practice together? I mean, what do you actually do? Or do you at opposite ends of yeah, where you no. are? Like you're, in the, you're in the bathroom and you're in the lounge room? Yeah. Well, that's exactly how it goes, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. usually in the garage and she's near the piano and we practice on opposite ends of the house. Yeah, what yeah. do the neighbours think of this? Free concert, I really yeah. 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 No, If you wait till your mates start getting married, you guys are going to be booked up for weddings. Oh, Please come to my yeah. wedding, I'd love you to sing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so tell me more about Romeo and Juliet, this new production that you're doing. Yeah, uh, so it's um, not based strictly on the Shakespeare story, but it is very much a similar vibe, uh, and it was composed a couple of hundred years ago by one of the best composers in the world, I think. And um, we've been rehearsing for a couple of weeks now. We've got an amazing cast of uh, New Zealand singers and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Is it nice to be act well, be beside each other as opposed to competing against each other? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, it's a dream. <laughs> and does it help when you know someone so well when you're performing together? Definitely. Mm. I think you can explore like the relationship between characters a lot more, mm. and you don't get part. You get past that sort of the awkward stage. Yeah, you don't have to worry it. about that. You've already yeah. done that. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You just get amongst it. And, yeah. Now I wanted to talk about the Guildhall School of Music in London. Very prestigious. They give mm. out twelve scholarships, and New Zealanders, you know, do very, very well. You've both. Is this correct? Both been there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're both um, on the opera course, which does take 12 singers internationally each year. Um, but what's amazing, I think, is this year there's, well, the year that we've just been a part of, there's four New Zealand singers out of 12. So, I mean, so it's why, why are incredible. we so good? Like, what's, what is it with New Zealand? I think we've just got such a huge amount of support here and the, the community just really gets behind us. So we're Really lucky. Mm. Well, yeah, so based on Joel and Mulsa being in here last week, it sounds like Dilworth are really breeding some yes. great yeah. opera singers. Yeah, I was say. And um, what about you? Where did you get your big sort of break and start? Um, I just always loved singing when I was a really little girl, and I think my my dad forced me into a choir when I was very young because he, yeah, I was just always giving concerts at my house, and, and so yeah, <laughs> yeah, just to give me something to do, I joined a choir. Yeah. It's, Ever since then. And you've gone from there too. Now the Mercury yeah. Theatre is where this is being uh, performed, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And that's one of Auckland's oldest theatres, I think. Yes. What's it like? Is it something quite special to perform there? It is. It's yeah. a really beautiful, beautiful place to sing in. Where a lot of opera used to be put on yeah. and sort of revive it to its formal glory, I guess. Yeah. 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 And I guess we've got the full-on band experience as well, have we? Or orchestra? Do you call it an orchestra? Yeah, we've got a, a small orchestra, a small ensemble of yeah. players. Yeah. So a chamber orchestra that's been arranged by our music director, Rosemary Barnes. Uh, it's, it's a sort of great sort of a uh, fixture of music as well and sort of been cut down so it's a great explosive opera but mm. you get all the great parts as well mm. so. Yeah. So you're doing so this, good. are you back to London afterwards? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so what's life like in London for you both? Yeah, good, expensive <laughs> but good. <laughs> expensive but uh, yeah. it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what do you hope to come out of that? 
Uh, well, hopefully, I think we both would like to stay over in Europe and sort of do some freelance work in opera mm -hmm. and, yeah, just keep going, basically. And out of curiosity, because I know you live and breathe opera, but what mm. do you listen to when you're jamming out on a Friday night in London? You know, is it, is it listen opera? I listen to uh, Taylor Swift, actually. No! <laughs> Nothing really more. <laughs> I like a bit of tea swizzle, love it. Good. Don't you worry about that. And I love Lord, actually. Yeah. Lord. Well, what does yeah. Felipe listen to? Yeah. Well, a lot of uh, reggae. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and can I just ask, just quickly, what, what sort of rough age are you guys? 25. 25. Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> well, life is set. And this is your full time gig now, really, isn't it? Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm so pleased you're back in New Zealand so we can come and see you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Vincenzo Bellini's opera Romeo and Juliet plays Friday and Sunday at the Mercury Theatre in Auckland. You can check out iTicket for details.